Hello, Jalal. Yeah, hello. Hello. Hello, Elena. Okay, I think we we're gonna start. Uh, Why not? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so welcome now. Uh, my name is Charles. I work at the Secretary of State for Education in Sport of Paraná, Brazil. And I will be mediating our roundtable discussion with the team, Critiques of the Big Data Paradigm. For this session, I will give you now a brief introduction uh, for the discussion and ask everyone to contribute with the development of ideas and share your thoughts. Please be welcome to make any entry among the participants in order to construct an insightful, insightful overview of the talk. Uh, in recent years, many phenomena we were search, the level of randomness of a system might assume uh, empirically, empirically or theoretically extreme asymptotic instability characteristics, and that not only in the micro oscillations of the system, but also for the macro observation of the event, leading to a very confounding and heterogeneous environment or environment of research. This can happen since we are dealing now with huge volume of data, uh, velocity, variety, resolution problems, veracity, and many other features. We saw many uh, research in the, the sessions and the keynotes pointing to very volume of data. And this, this uh, volume cause also uh, a problem in the big data analytics for life and physical sciences, and specifically for the now new frontiers that we have now, that is digital humanities and computer, computational social sciences. Now consider this, is, this small sentence that I will give to you. One day you were investigation, uh, investigating a system. And concerning a given system or physical phenomena as a whole over time, could there be a stability pattern, a filter that is not commonly observed in the empirical terms of the analysis, but that for short time periods, but only theoretically pre assumed for long time periods. While we search for them both, both of times, a peri periodic fixed point that could uncover a stability pattern formation. And I mean time, but it can be other parameter in which outputs are dependent. Analyze this small sentence. We face complex and difficult solutions to achieve better data-driven results concerning, concerning impulses, theory, time, data extraction, stability patterns, statistical analysis, topological measures, and so on. So the discussion is, what are the main frontiers to achieve or understand and stability behavior concerning data science and big data in order to build a robust performance for predictive and behavior analytics of complex events? Uh, some points of discussions, but not reduce it to it. Uh, you are free to give any points Science, uh, everyone, everyone of, of us uh, have a specific uh, knowledge and research field. So uh, I give some points as micro process under, under a given assumed stability, time and machine learning experience, empirical observations and data constraints, privacy and internet of things. So uh, anyone would like to start an idea. For you, 
what are the main frontiers for big data extraction concerning time or other parameters that can be a limitation factor for your research? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, the problem stability and unstability characteristics is a great problem, especially for uh, psychologists, because when yes. we <laughs> because when we try to elaborate any models, some characteristics are stable during life, uh, some unstable during life, some characteristic became uh, stable on uh, uh, sensitive period of life. Uh, for example, uh, about temperature. Temperamental characteristics became stable only at the age of 16 years. And uh, the character, professional interest became stable uh, much, uh, maybe in 20, 25 years. It depends a lot of factors which uh, influence on this parameter. And when we try to reveal uh, stable characteristics, we come to use not statistics, not big data analysis. It's a huge problem for us. And uh, uh, maybe you can recommend for us some more optimal uh, tools for solve this problem, problem of analysis. Because, because there are uh, maybe uh, some types of people, uh, these types it uh, depends on uh, their genetics. But during uh, uh, life, uh, some characteristics are change, but some characteristics are stable and depends on our genetics. And there are uh, interaction between these characteristics. And we can't use any math method to describe this uh, situation. As I see that uh, in research, I read about psychology, uh, mainly in, uh, life sciences. Uh, we have a, a very wide range of variety, um, mm -hmm. uh, many oh, chains oh, that oh, are varying oh, solutions oh, for many problems. Oh, we oh, don't see oh, uh, we don't see specifically a pattern formation that you can use in the beginning of the experiment and the end of the experiment. There is a time varying varying resolution of data that you have as today, uh, as was spoke by Emir in the evolutionary algorithm, uh, you need to be changing, adapting the situation you face in the, your experiment and working with other tools, mathematical tools, in order to achieve uh, idea, the idea of convergence. Mm -hmm. As one participant asked him about convergence. And, I see it a lot in the psychology and life sciences, uh, also uh, physical sciences, depending on the, the situation. Uh, as Emir told us today, COVID-19 is a problem that we are facing it now because we have a, a confounding environment of variables uh, that affect influence the daily new cases. Mm -hmm. And I see, I was reading about the predictive methods based on SIR models, uh, epidemiologic models, and these models have great level of uncertainty due to the policy measure, measures adopted by countries, or even the population uh, adherence to the, the, these policies. Uh, so, uh, uh, I put this, this paradigm problem because if you investigate the, the phenomena of, uh, with tools as normalizations, 
the uh, main some... problem, the main problem, <laughs> because uh, the bigger the sample, the more difficult to achieve uh, normal distribu distribution of characteristics. It's very difficult. Yes. And uh, on, uh, I am very uh, rare met uh, normal distribution, especially in modern uh, in modern period of history, <coughs> in the times of Galton, maybe it uh, was stable characteristics, but uh, and normal distribution. But now, uh, for example, I have sample more than three thousands of people, but I can't achieve the normal distribution, even through. Uh, uh, normalization, I can't achieve normal distribution, but most of statistics tools require uh, normal distribution, and I can't to use uh, adequately uh, the math tools in my research. So in this case, as we are talking, uh, the normalization uh, sometimes is uh, as some researchers point is the way human observe the phenomenon uh, is not exactly how phenomenon behave and um, they point also by the empiricism as a, a string of knowledge as uh, data driven algorithms can extract that data and knowledge that normalization cannot see but uh, also as Vince yesterday from Google spoke, uh, even data-driven algorithms uh, are not uh, fully capable of understanding reality without our, our, our view of the phenomenon. So a mixing point that it is necessary, I believe, to achieve a better results solution to coverage this. Uh, properties uh, within a phenomenon. In your case that you said in psychology and the problem of uh, large vo volume of data and variety, you don't reach a normalization and the problem you're gonna need to, to uh, use nonlinear tools of analysis to extract uh, problem some sinus sinu sinusoidal points mm -hmm. of analysis uh, trying to extract in, from the data linear time series uh, points, specific points in which there is a possible normalization, but not for, for the overall phenomenon, for the overall data you, you got. But when we select some, uh, some little sample from the big sample, we distract to reality we distract this phenomenon. We in the situation, we observe only a little part of the phenomenon, but not whole uh, yes. phenomena. It's a root mistake. The I human is the, whole, is the whole. And uh, all our characteristics uh, is connected between each other, among each other because it's the uh, psychology reality does not exist pure temperament or pure character. Character is the continuum of the temperature in our life. It's yes. the, the whole phenomena. And our cognitive style is the continuum of the temperature too, of our genetics. There are some uh, characteristics of person which um, are very closely connect between each others. And uh, on another stage, they are different. That's the main uh, rule of uh, psychological research. We, we uh, uh, should connect data during whole life of the people. It's very difficult situation, and uh, why I'm here because I, because I try to uh, find more uh, suitable uh, 
method, math method for description for description of this situation. But I can't. Only uh, the, the the requirement of normalization of characteristics. Only uh, the requirement of uh, existence. Uh, Oh no, absence connections between characteristics. Uh, but uh, it's discrete approach to the person. But person as a whole. Yes, uh, uh, one, one research I submitted to this conference is specifically about it, about uh, stability convergence of uh, nonlinear data that can be tracked by some nonlinear techniques, techniques as topological Maybe measures. Not stability of uh, concrete characteristics, but stability of the rules of uh, combination of these characteristics, I think. Yes. Because characteristics uh, are changed during life, but connection between these characteristics is rather st stable phenomena. And as you said before, you're going to need to, to separate the data mm -hmm. in specific regions of analysis since they don't appear to have a connectivity. Or try, mm -hmm. perhaps, uh, some researchers point, a data-driven algorithm to extract some type of uh, interactive uh, connectivities mm -hmm. uh, between these elements. Uh, yesterday, for example, I saw a research, a very good research, that uh, here at the conference, that people were using, of the authors, uh, were using some mathematical formula to learning, automated learning. And, and I thought it very, very amazing because I, I imagine students go, uh, at home uh, seeing some software that work with an algorithm, and this teaches you, uh, based on your new answers uh, and the questions applied to these students, uh, the answers can be tracked in terms of linguistic analysis. Uh, what words were used? What's the meaning of the sentence? And there is also a variety range of possible answers to 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 make a uh, automated teacher. That that's mm -hmm. very interesting. Uh, mainly in this uh, in nowadays problem uh, with COVID nineteen, that we need a lot of uh, uh, distance learning. Uh, there is but any other researcher uh, that would like to give us a, a different insight of of problems regarding data extraction and convergence analysis in phenomena, life engineering, uh, social sciences. Yes, but we should distinguish two phenomena, learning, uh, mass learning, deep learning, it's a mass point of view, and learning from the psychological point of view as a mental phenomena. It's very different phenomena. And when I read uh, the papers on this conference, I always ask the question. The researcher uh, thinks that uh, uh, he or she formed this competence. But uh, as psychologist, I know that not right. Because maybe it's the effect of memory, but not effect of learning. When uh, time spent, uh, and we ask the students about this information, he could not uh, 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 remember this information. It's a very short phenomenon, but not a stable phenomenon. It's uh, because if we uh, want to implement uh, mental learning in uh, digital learning, we uh, 
It's a very interesting lecture, keynote speakers uh, tomorrow. I visit these lectures about evolutionary uh, method uh, in uh, mass. And uh, this uh, ma uh, scientist tried to uh, use psychological law in his mass uh, elaborations. It's very interesting. Moreover, uh, we uh, use in psychology mass models. And uh, through these mass models, we uh, uh, check our ideas. Is it true or not true? But any mass models is very weak models in compare with the real life. Yes, uh, interesting. Uh, your your speech about psychology is very related to what about what I have have said of automated teacher, and you are right because even a, an automated teacher can be fully uh, satisfiable for uh, teaching. Uh, that yeah. there is. Uh, wide limitation on it, a specific tasks maybe can be performed, but it's not a real life that is very uh, much more powerful in terms of uh, reaching convergence than mm -hmm. mathematical tools or data-driven algorithms. But I would like to ask uh, you, uh, when you use automatically learning or automatically teaching, uh, uh, could your students uh, transfer these uh, skills on in other disciplines or not? Sorry, uh, I can't hear. Uh, for example, uh, your students uh, achieved uh, successfully doing something in uh, your discipline, in chemistry. But could you transfer the skills in other disciplines? Yeah. Or not? Could you uh, yeah. use this information in a new situation? Not in this concrete situation, but in another new situation. Could you use uh, the skills or no? Uh. Anybody want to give an answer to participate? Mm -hmm. We are talking about psychology, limitations of data extraction, mm -hmm. convergence, nonlinear phenomena. Mm -hmm. Human is very rich phenomenon in compare, in compare with a physical phenomena or another mass phenomena. As for me, mass phenomena is very poor phenomena. And uh, mass uh, tools could not be used for description uh, more complex phenomena like life, our life. Be uh, uh, in this situation of mass, I want uh, to break through in mass. I want to found to seek such mass who can help uh, psychologists to describe our complex phenomenon. It's very really difficult. It's another mass, not more than mass. Excuse me. My name is Ricardo. I'm from Brazil. Um, I'm, I'm sorry for being late to participate in this round table. I'm, I'll try to, at the same time, understand and perhaps give my, my thoughts about it. I think the, the real difficulty to extract uh, what I could call uh, the base uh, meaning of, of, a, of a behavior is that the models we use today are not fit to extract this base meaning. Like the example you, you just said, Marcelena, 
the, 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 the abilities we use in some situations, in some events of our lives are very similar. But the, the only difference is the, the, um, is the, 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 the matter we use to exercise, to, 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 to use this, this behavior. So if we could change, or if you come with, come up with a, a, a model that could extract the basic or the base uh, behavior, so we could have what you just have asked uh, the, the host uh, right now. Uh, but uh, I, I, I don't know if in psychological uh, meta you have you have you have how to extract this i think it's most subjective than objective uh, ability to extract this behavior yeah. i think the psychologists like you and your your peers are very uh, trained to do this this is a, a hard and um it's a, a hard activity it's a hard ability you have to learn during your uh, course, during your uh, work experience. Yes, but even we concern concerning physical phenomena, who creates physical uh, description of physical phenomena? Person, a real person, a real scientist. Because any description of physical phenomenon is almost subjective phenomenon. It's such as the life, because uh, the description of this phenomenon was done by a scientist Newton or Galilei. It depends on your own experience, your own view on this phenomenon. Well, I think we have to work together a little bit more. I think computing and psychology areas are uh, some 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 kind uh, uh, a part of each other we have to converge to work uh, side by side to mm -hmm. come up with the models and to uh, to to put it in parallel lines what mm -hmm. we want to use what we want to do what do we want to achieve and train the computers the systems mm -hmm. to understand mm -hmm. uh, the human behavior I think uh, many efforts are just being made uh, to do this, but I think uh, it's, we, we have to work hard a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You are uh, right. I would like to make a point regarding Ricardo's commentaries. That's very interesting. Uh, what we see now in psychology and the human mind investigations regarding computation, is uh, uh, I wanna see if Elena will, will agree with me? Is a behavioral, uh, behavioral, behavioralist approach, uh, like Skinner approach, uh, a determinist approach, because we have social media, we have a lot of determinants in society that make people behave in that way, convergent to that point. Mm -hmm. And in this, in this way, it's possible to determine behavior and human mind through this uh, basis of determinist uh, variables that we know they influence us a lot in our daily survival. Uh, they, they affect our emotion. Uh, what do you think, Elena, about, uh, about daily determinants point of uh, psychology, behaviorism that are used nowadays in, at the propaganda and social media, marketing, products, mm -hmm. selling. Mm -hmm. oh, it's a very interesting problem, but uh, the latest our research reveal very interesting information. We compare productive of human life based on uh, uh, two uh, indicators, emotionality and activity. 
and reveal very interesting fact that high emotionally emotionality decrease uh, achievement of higher activity of person what does it mean that people uh, highly active and highly emotional uh, the same low uh, indicators of uh, well-being like people with uh, low activity and low emotionality it's not uh, right influences the same situation our emotionality if we could not rule this phenomena uh, very interesting uh, influence on our behavior and our behavior depends not only our emotionality but and uh, from our activity too yeah, uh, I, I, I got your point at the beginning of the discussion and Ricardo point, if there is it's a basis It's not my of point of view, it's a real uh, fact, scientific fact on the very big sample, more than three, uh, three thousands of uh, Russian students and we reveal this phenomena because more emotional people is uh, uh, very uh, on these people it's uh, very light to influence our emotionality is very useful in the situation of creating something but in the stress situation it's very unuseful characteristics it depends on uh, situation Uh, in literature, in music, uh, emotional, it's very good tools for our well-being. But when uh, some uh, shopping and influence of another people on us, it's very big, our psychological tools. And a very big and huge problem for us. We should manage our emotionality. And people try more his force on uh, manage of uh, their own emotionality, but not for solving uh, the problem. Uh, is there any other contribution uh, any participant would like to give to us? Enrich the discussion with other fields of analysis? And the very interesting problem of uh, roundtable talk is uh, stability and instability. Instability of a real phenomena or instability of mass instrument. Hello? Hello. Uh... I don't know exactly uh, how much time we have now. Uh, it's about 30 minutes that we have to finish the conversation. Uh, I think but it's if... over. What? I think, I think it's over. It, it, so... it, it, it was programmed to finish at uh, London time, 2.45. It's right, it's, oh. it's 2.49. Yes, it, it remains open for 10 minutes after the end of the session. Okay. Uh, so I thank you all for, for participating. And it's a small discussion. And we got the psychology and life sciences problems of convergence. Also, uh, some points, as Ricardo says, said, uh, that there is some basis of analysis that could be lead to a convergence. Uh, and this is mainly regarding the possibility of social emotion to be very uh, be, uh, how we can say, biased, biased, biased. I don't know how to, to, to pronounce it. Yes. Right. So, uh, like shopping, uh, having a car, uh, these are determinants in psychology 
and, and I see that many data-driven algorithms are, are working for Facebook, Twitter, to reach this point of stability where it's easier to understand people's behavior, but not mm -hmm. uh, something like cognitive skills, uh, learning skills that are more deep and more limited to data-driven approach or even normalization, as Elina mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, can I, can I give a, a, an information? There is a research, researcher at PUC Rio mm -hmm. in Brazil, who, which, whose name is um, Clarice Siquenius. Mm -hmm. She is, uh, uh, she, she, she researches in the fields of semiotics and mm -hmm. he, her pair named, um, oh my God, I just go, go now. Uh, so, the, the, the main researcher is Clarice Sikenos. Perhaps it, it would be a very good uh, uh, path to, to look for the papers she published and to, mm -hmm. to verify if there is some clues that could help mm -hmm. in this field, what we just discussed. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. We use this method in our research too. Very interesting thing. <laughs> Very it's very interesting to connect with uh, you and your researchers. I'm sorry? You mentioned to. Uh, could you connect it with uh, these researchers? Yes, I can. I, I can, I can share the, her, her contact. I don't know how to do this right now in this virtual session, but uh, um, uh, if you can, so, uh, I, 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 uh, well, I don't know if you can, Give me your contact. I can send you her uh, web page. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> How can I give you uh, my contact? Uh, uh, chat? Yeah, it's very chat? easy. <laughs> I, I think Ricardo <laughs> can search in the author page. Author page. Okay. There is a there. Oh, and really, so really. There is the possibility to make one by one conversation, uh, or if. Uh, Get at Google, Elena, uh, and the surname. I think uh, the, your email is at Google. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Elena? Uh, I will do it right now. I will send. I will search your contacts and the conference webpage, and I will send you the uh, the the um, web webpage and email. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your uh, clue, Charles. Thank you very much, yeah, also you Ricardo too. and Elina. Thank you for the interesting conversation. Oh, I'm glad to see you all. <laughs> and let's be in connect. Okay, bye bye to everyone. Bye bye. Have a good day. Have a good day. Thank Have you. Good and day. you too. Thank you. Bye.